Flying Bison Juice Caboose up next. This is a beer from Flying Bison Brewery right here in Buffalo, New York, and it's called the Juice Caboose, and it's an IPA. It's from their small batch series, and this is a really, really good beer. I'm so proud of them. I think they knocked it right out of the park with this one. It's a 7.5% alcohol by volume IPA with a um, IBU rating of 45. Right from the label, it says Juice Caboose, New England style IPA was inspired by the iconic Buffalo Central Terminal, which is located near our brewery. This beer has a low hop bitterness and a creamy mouthfeel with notes of fruit and pine. It's big and it's juicy, chug a choo choo. So I had this beer um, a couple of times right after I bought it and I was just blown away. I'm sorry I didn't get it on uh, to film sooner than Saturday for you guys in case you guys wanted to take a look at it. But again, this is the Flying Bison Juice Caboose. Wicked. Whoo, it's and it's you know right out of the out of the bottle. You can smell this thing from a foot away. It's awesome. It's um you know, it's it's super hazy. Um just like all of, you know, I think all of our favorite IPAs are these days. Uh really well carbonated and it's got that really nicely packed um head, but it doesn't really seem to stick around too much. Lace is all right. Yep. And it is all sorts of juicy, citrusy, uh, with just a little uh, rider of, of pine, I think, on the aroma. Uh, but this smells just absolutely wonderful. It really does. So let's see how this tastes, huh? Whew. Pretty true to the uh, the description on the uh, neck of the bottle. Uh, it is it's a juicy, creamy feel to the beer. Um, a little bit less of the citrusy notes and a little bit more of the of that piney, uh, hoppy aroma or flavor uh, on the on the trail end. So it's kind of different from the aroma that you would be expecting the cer certain uh, flavor profile, but. This is uh, this is really really good. Yeah, I can see some grapefruits. Uh, I can see a little bit of uh, orange sort of uh, flavors there, and a really nice New England style IPA. Uh, for it being 7.5% alcohol. It's, it's not a really strong feeling and tasting type of beer. Uh, the 45 IBUs are even a little, you know, that's just generous, I think. It's, it doesn't drink like, um, you know, a mid-40s IBU beer either. Um, I've been really, really happy with this six-pack. Uh, I hope that um, this is something that flying bison is going to do more of this is exactly what i think flying bison needs to do more of this is a wonderful ipa i've seen it on tap starting to creep around town i was just at um the uh, the westminster park up on transit road in uh in uh, williamsville and they were going to have it on tap uh very soon so use your untapped Find out where it's on uh, on tap around town, and uh, go and enjoy it. But this is really, really a great beer. This is not going to be a hard beer to finish. Uh, the rest of the six pack is not going to be a hard six pack to finish. Um, yeah, I would. This is a total uh, go pick up and enjoy for your uh, for yourself this weekend. Um, I'm gonna go grab another six pack as soon as this is done. I don't know how long these small batch series uh, stick around. I don't know how much they brewed, um, stuff like that. So, good one. Um, I love Flying Bison. Uh, ever since I started this channel, they've been really, really cool to me. Um, you know, communicating on social media and whatnot like that. So, that's it for me, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, taking a look at this really, really great beer from our own in Buffalo. And um, I hope you go and, and uh, pick up a six-pack and support our local breweries. And that's it for me. So 
like, leave me a comment, uh, tell me if you want to see any other beers on the channel. And until next time, guys, cheers.